banking too. Pew kept all his earnings in the bank in a shoe. Hey everybody, it's me, Brendan Kennedy. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel, The BK Stank. This week I'm kind of doing something a little bit different. Um, just kind of showing you guys what my workout on a Saturday is typically like. I might do this on a Friday afternoon or a Saturday, just kind of depends on how much I have going on. So first here we have me doing bench, warming up with just the bar. I think it's important just to get a feel for uh, what it's like getting in proper position, getting your arch going, uh, getting some blood in the muscles. Uh, I like to get nice and warm before I start lifting heavy. I've seen some other people who just go straight to working weight, and I don't know the, how they do it. Um, I'm a pretty good squatter. I can deadlift okay, but bench, I got to get good and warm for. So even here, uh, plate on each side. Doesn't even feel amazing yet. So trying to keep that arch really tight, and it's something I watched uh, on supertraining.com or Super Training Gym. I don't know why I keep saying that. I uh, saw Mark Bell talking about lifting his head up so he could watch the bar move a little bit. So this here is me working with a little bit more weight. 165 still. Um, I like to take it nice and slow. I don't like to warm up too fast. As you can see here, uh, getting that arch is, is really important for me. Uh, I've had really weird shoulder issues in the past where if I um, bench too heavy for too long and I don't warm them up right and my technique isn't perfect, I, I fuck my elbows up all, and not not my elbows, my, my shoulders up. So this is me uh, just trying to focus on being explosive out of the hole and having a really good tight arch so I can limit my range of motion. So I, like I said, uh, as I am, uh, I'm a lot stronger in my other lifts compared to bench. So for me, I feel like 185 is where it starts to get real. It's where it's really starting to feel um, a little bit heavier. So again, uh, you'll see my working weight today is 235. And that is a little bit clumsier. Not as good as I'd like it to be. But if you watch me here, I feel like I'm really proud of myself where I'm bringing the bar down nice and slow. A little bit of leg drive happening there. Now here we are at uh, 205. As, as I get closer to my working weight, I, I don't really do as many uh, warm-up reps. I typically do maybe one or two right when I'm at the, the door of my working weight uh, just to kind of train my nervous system to see what heavier weight is going to feel like. I feel like a lot of times if you don't warm up and you go straight to your heaviest weight, it's going to feel even heavier because you haven't felt anything before. So any just going from nothing to whatever you're working with is going to feel really heavy. And I feel like that second rep was poetry in motion right there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm proud of myself. Even though I left my camera equipment and gym bag all over the place. And here we are with my working weight, 235, 235 pounds. I don't know what that is in kilos. I'm not that smart. And now that I'm watching this, I'm a little annoyed with how much I'm bouncing it off my chest and how much I'm wiggling around underneath. So these might not be the, the prettiest reps, but I feel like if you're going to lift heavy, the only way to get used to lifting heavy is to actually lift heavy weight. So that's what I did here. I like to still kind of tease those explosive movements a little bit with a little bit of pause rep work. So here I am doing uh, some pause reps at 185. Again, for me, at 185, I feel like is that kind of borderline between still warming up and being slightly heavy. And it's really funny here because for me, like with these pause reps, the first one is always incredibly easy, and I'm always saying to myself, like, am I doing this heavy enough? And then by that second or third rep in a pause rep set, you really hate life. I mean, I hate life a lot, because in addition to working out, I'm also a stand-up comedian. I feel like hating life is... Yeah, look at that. But as a comedian, you have to hate your life a little bit. And now I have one last set of pause reps before I get into my squat workout. So I'm gonna do the squat workout, and then at the end of this video, I'm doing some work with kettlebells 
and uh, trying to see as many reps as I can get. It's a good old-fashioned AMRAP workout with a 50-pound kettlebell, and it kicks my ass, as you'll see. So make sure you watch till the end of the video. And here I am doing my last set of pause rep squat. Not squats, pause rep bench. Now, if you watch me here, one thing I'm really trying to focus on lately, in addition to having uh, to using leg drive when necessary, is keeping my lats really good and tight. Uh, for a long time, I thought lats were muscles that bodybuilders had, that they just worked out because if you're a bodybuilder, you make every muscle look ridiculously huge, and that's why they have lats like wings. But uh, as I've gotten to lifting heavier and heavier, I'm starting to realize that you really do need to use your lats for everything, for bench, uh, definitely for squats too. Uh, Getting your lats good and tight, trying to pull your elbows to your ass, put them in your back pocket, you will definitely feel a uh, higher core rigidity. Again, I'm warming up with just the bar here. Uh, trying to be as explosive as possible. Uh, one of the things that they talk about at the Westside Barbell Club with uh, Louis Simmons and all that is always trying to put max force into every movement. So even if it's just the bar, trying to train your nervous system to put max forth, uh, max effort forth in any situation. And this workout was kind of tough too because uh, my I just it was a Saturday morning, I didn't sleep amazing, uh, kind of went to bed late and I was very stiff all day so my shoulders you'll see are really tight so a lot of times when I'm trying to unrack the bar it's very stiff even though I'm a uh, just working with 135 here. Look at that form. Look at that. Look at that hip drive. So now, uh, for me, 225 is where I think it starts to get real for squats. And again, it's not really challenging because I know I can squat around 400 pounds at this point. But I feel like just having that much weight on your back, it's easier to drop your hips down because you have that force helping you. And when you're just working out with the bar, it's a little bit uh, hard just getting your ass down far enough. So again, trying to be as explosive as possible from the bottom of the movement. Now, uh, 275 on the bar, trying to get my, my shoulders good and warm, trying to get that upper back really tight. Uh, one good cue that I've heard for doing squats from a lot of people is try to get it so that you could hold a pencil between your shoulder blades. I don't know if my shoulders are, are, are that good, but as you can see, I'm trying to get my elbows good and tight. And one thing that uh, you'll see too is I always snap my my glutes forward uh, at the end of the movement, and that I think is the the secret to locking it out. Three hundred fifteen pounds here. This I feel like uh, yeah. Now you can see me here just trying to get in there. Perfect. It's my shoulders are so tight. But one thing here, um, I feel like three fifteen is really where it gets serious. Uh, I don't know if that's like an old meathead thing, but like three plates on each side. No, you're not fucking around anymore. Now, again, as I'm adding more weight to the bar here, I'm not doing as many reps, so I might have warmed up with five reps. Here, I'm getting a, maybe two or three at a time. Pretty proud of myself for hitting good depth each time. Now, here we have 335. I like to do a couple, maybe one rep before my working weight, just so I know uh, how powerful I'm feeling just how strong I am. Get the bar on the, my back there. Nope, just kidding. Here we go. Can I do it? Am I gonna do my working weight of 360 today? Let's see, how's 330 looking? I'm 335, it's looking pretty light. Wonder what my power level is like here. Over 
So here we are, squatting 360 today, 360 going for a set of three. This is what it's all about. I'm pretty damn tired by the end of this, but I want to push myself. Got that first rep, and now it's like, damn, got to do two more. <laughs> Deep breath, brace the abs. Second one. Now, I remember this last rep. It felt like it took three years, and whenever you have the max weight, or not max weight, but whenever you have really heavy weight on the bar, everything just moves more slowly. That felt like it took a half hour. I wasn't even sure if I was going to get it at some point. But now I watch it, and it looks so easy. So, a pretty good day at the gym, and now... Kettlebells! Alright, so I recently got some kettlebells, because a friend of mine was selling some kettlebells online, and uh, he had three of them. He had a 30, a 40, and a 50-pound kettlebell, which, you know, just one of those can go for 100 bucks, depending on where you're getting it from. And so, I made him an offer, and he took the offer, so now I have these three kettlebells and I need to start using them. So I've swung kettlebells in the past. Um, something interesting I want to try out today. I saw a video with uh, Mark Bell at supertraining.com or Super Training Gym and he did a, uh, a test where how long you could swing a kettlebell was equivalent to like your endurance, your anaerobic endurance. So this is something I'm trying out. Uh, they were saying that like average person could go for about a minute and a half average person can go for about a minute and a half your elite athletes could maybe go for seven minutes so I'm about to see where I stand uh, in case there's not an easy way of timing this I'm gonna use my phone here and give myself a, a quick 10 second count before I start Disappointed! So clearly, I have a lot of conditioning work to do. This kettlebell says it's 50 pounds, but I swear I swung 50 pound kettlebells that did not weigh this much. Um, if I do end up using these things, they're probably going to have to be outside because I have hardwood floors and I don't want to destroy them. Holy shit, that is exhausting. I'm going to try to do a, a clean... Sorry. Oh fuck. <laughs> Can't do it with the left hand yet. Alright. That's that. DK Stank. Out of here. See you later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.